Welcome to the next video in the Blixo Getting Started series. Now that we have downloaded Blixo and connected our workbook to the ERP, let's take a look at some basic functions. We can begin with retrieving account names. In cell A1, we'll type the account code. In cell B1, we're going to use the account name function. Let's use Excel's function wizard to do that. We'll simply click here, select the Valixo category we need, and then select the function, we'll use account name, and click OK. Before we continue with the insert function process, it is important to note that you can find out more information about a function by clicking the link for help on this function. This will take you to the Valixo Online Help Center, where you will see the specific information about the function and at least one example of how it can be used. The first parameter for the account name function is the name of the connection that we created using the Connection Manager. In the last video, we created a connection called Demo, so we'll type that here. In our example, we already have the account code in cell A1. We'll just click on that cell and Excel will automatically add a reference to the cell in the formula. After we click OK, the account name will be visible in cell B1. If we have a list of accounts that have been created by a Valixo function, we could copy the formula by clicking the bottom right corner of the cell and dragging down. However, we also have another option that uses only a single function. If our function references a cell which contains an array of values, we can reference the entire array by placing a number sign at the end of the cell reference. To keep things simple, we are just using a few accounts to be able to view these basic features. If we wish to easily add all the accounts from our chart of accounts to the spreadsheet, we can simply click Insert Chart of Accounts on the Valixo ribbon in the Excel toolbar, choose our connection, and click Insert. And now we see the entire chart of accounts with account names. Now let's move on to another basic function that you will find useful. In this scenario, we want to have the account beginning balances populate in column C. We'll move to cell C1 and use the function wizard again. This time we'll select the account beginning balance function. Once in the function, we'll again see all the parameters the function expects. We're going to use the demo connection and the actual ledger. We can leave the account class empty because we are specifying the exact account to use. It is important to note that you can specify an account class only, an account only, or a combination of both, and the system will determine which accounts to use for calculation. In this example, we can leave the subaccount and branch empty as well. However, we will need to specify a financial period. In fact, if we try to use this function without the financial period, the system will return an error code which notes that that information is required. We can choose whether the balance should only reflect posted data, unposted data, or a combination of the two. Finally, if we are licensed and configured in our ERP for multiple calendar support, we can access the financial calendar in a specific company within our tenant. We'll simply leave this blank to access the master financial calendar defined at the tenant level. Once we have entered all the necessary parameters, we click OK, and the beginning balance will calculate automatically. Again, we can modify the cell reference to our account by appending the number sign, and now we see the beginning balance for our entire chart of accounts. So far, we've explored two functions Blixo provides for our reporting needs. It is important to know that while you can use the function wizard, as we have done, you may find it easier to simply type the functions you wish to use. Let's enter the account ending balance function. As we start typing, we can see that the add-in provides us with the template for the function. If we want to access the online help, we can do so by clicking the name of the function. If we head back to Excel, we can see all the same function parameters we typed in earlier. We can type them manually, or click to select a cell and create a cell reference. Once we have entered in all of the parameters, 
and then press enter, the function will be added and we have the ending balance for our entire chart of accounts. That completes this video in the Elixir Getting Started series. Now that you know the steps, go ahead and give them a try in your spreadsheet.